Welcome to Zephyr's Travels. Today we're leaving Roswell, New Mexico and headed to Alamogordo, New Mexico. I'm sure that's not the way you pronounce it, but that's what it looks like anyway. Along our route, we kept seeing signs for McGinn's Pistachio Land, so of course we had to stop and check the place out and see what they had. We made a quick stop here at Pistachio Land. There's signs for this place 100 miles away. Even more, I think. Yeah. We've been seeing them since yesterday, or Tuesday. Yeah. So, all over the place when you're driving through the southern part of New Mexico, you're gonna see signs for this place, so you have to stop. All right. We got, we got some pistachios, a couple different types of pistachios, and you could get pistachio ice cream and cookies and such, but we didn't go too, too hog wild on this stuff. No, no. Yeah, it's, it's kind of, a, it's a fun place to stop. Yeah, just for a couple minutes on your way through. Yeah. And they do have RV parking behind here, behind the big this pistachio, which is behind us. Okay. All right. Okay. We are at the Almogordo White Sands KOA, and we're just about 20 miles uh, east of uh, White Sands National Park, which we'll be heading there today. But I wanted to give you just a little quick overview of this campground. It's a typical KOA. Um, it's a KOA journey. So from my experiences, KOA journey, the um, overnight costs are usually a little bit less than a KOA resort. Um, they don't offer quite as much, but they still offer most of the same amenities. Um, this is a, I would call this an urban campground. We're right inside the city limits. So it makes it very convenient to get to different uh, places, but there is a little bit of traffic noise through the campground, but it did seem to get quieted down overnight, so it wasn't that bad. The campsites are not spacious, but they're not too bad. They do have a nice privacy wall around them. You do have a table and chairs and a grill, but there isn't a fire pit at this one. Our site is full hookups. We do have water, electric, both 30 and 50 amp, and sewer, um, but this site doesn't have cable TV. Some of the other ones do. So that's the brief overlook of this campground. We are moving out of here today. We just did an overnight and we're going to head to White Sands National Park and check that out on our way to Arizona. So let's go. It was only a short 30 minute drive from the KOA to White Sands National Park. We made a quick stop at the visitor center and then continued our drive into the sand dunes.
here. Anybody would say anything if we got the kayak out and slid down the hill with that. Of course, I don't know if I'd want to be dragging it up the hill. It'd be quite a lift. That thing's pretty heavy. What are your thoughts on White Sands National Park? It's absolutely, it's beautiful. It's just one of those wonders that you don't see everywhere. And you really got to stop and get out and climb into the sand dunes to see it. You know, if you don't, you take the drive through the loop and it just doesn't do justice. No, you have to get out and, you know, you can, at the visitor center, you can rent sleds. We've noticed a lot of people you bring their own sleds, but you can get them at the visitor center. We didn't, we didn't rent any, but we did climb up on several of the hills. We took the dogs, and they had a great time. Yeah, the dogs probably enjoyed it more than we did. I think just being out in the sand, they got to kind of um, wrestle around a little bit and play, and they just really enjoyed it. Yeah, they were able to do something that they haven't been able to do probably since we left home is to run and play with each other yeah so yeah, yeah so they and they really enjoy hiking hiking and the beach which it probably felt like for them yeah and except there was no water they don't care about that part they like the yeah. sand yeah they like the sand so it gave them a chance to play and roll around and you know it was fun for them and it was fun for us yeah yeah. And it, once you drive back here, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yep, yep. And the parking lots are huge, so it shouldn't be no problem if you're pulling your trailer getting back here. The pavement ends, but it's very hard packed sand, and you don't even notice the difference, except that it's a little bit washboardy, so drive slow. Yeah, but it, it's a beautiful place to visit. Yep. Well, this is going to end our New Mexico trip. Oh, well, well, well not quite. No. We have one more night. One we have more a, night one more campground, so yeah. I guess we've got that. Yep. It's so it's not ending here. But it, That's true. This would be an awesome place to end it at. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But we got one more night um, in New Mexico, and then we head into Arizona. So, All right. Okay, so on to our next destination, yep. which is? Rockhound State Park. Okay, for one night. For one night, yes. Our drive from White Sands uh, National Park to our destination for the night, Rockhound State Park, was only about three and a half hours, so it didn't take us long for us to get there and get settled in for the evening. We only had one night at Rockhound State Park. But again, it was like all the other state parks in New Mexico. It was very nice. It was only $18 a night, but offered electric and water. The park also offers many hiking trails one of which we were able to take in shortly after we arrived at the park. The trail we walked had a lot of elevation change and we got a great view of the park. It was a nice little workout and it was about half a mile long.
like this video, what should they do? Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell for notifications and we post new videos on a weekly basis and we'd love to have you follow along on our journey. Till the next time, we'll see you down the road. Take care everybody.